just check you can see the screen. Okay. Oh. Right, Nicola, can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay, brilliant. Right, I'm just going to mute everybody um, really quickly. Okay, that's perfect, right. So hi everyone, thanks so much for coming along on this class tonight, um, where we're basically going to talk about using essential oils for natural um, medicine and natural health, and I'm going to go into details about specific oils that can help you. Um, and just before I start, I just want to introduce myself. Um, I'm Chloe, um, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I'm a mum of three. Um, I've got Orlando, who's five, Molly, who's four, and Robin, who's just one. So life is pretty full on. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mum and also a doTERRA wellness advocate. So, um, so my job is basically educating people and sharing doTERRA's essential oils, um, and I love it. Um, so tonight, the aim of tonight's class basically is to kind of educate you a little bit about essential oils and also to empower you um, to feel that you're able to use these natural, these amazing natural solutions um, at home yourself. Um, and we'll just de delve into a little bit. Obviously, there's so much to learn, but this is just a little side of it that you can, and there'll be questions, you can ask questions at the end if you want. There is a chat box there as well if you want to put any questions in the chat. But if not, there'll be a section at the end um, that I can tell you about. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll go through a little bit about essential oils. I will look at the 10 core oils, um, which are basically the most popular oils. And together, these 10 oils treat over 300 ailments, um, which is amazing. Um, and then at the end, um, if, if you are interested in buying some oils, I can explain the way it works. Um, and any, then there's time for questions at the end. Right, so let's get started. So there are three things that you might not know um, about doTERRA essential oils. Um, and the first thing is that they are 100% pure and natural. And I'll talk about this in a minute. They are an amazing um, addition to your medicine cabinet or a complement to your medicine cabinet. So we're not saying you have to only use essential oils, but they're a great thing to use alongside other medicines as well, which I'll, I'll go into detail in a minute. And obviously they're very, very cost effective as well. Um, so we'll talk about all of these bits in a minute. So what is an essential oil? Um, essential oil is um, the natural aromatic compounds of a plant. So it can be from any part of the plant. It can be from the root or the stem or the leaf or the bark or the petals. Um, and it's very, very That's powerful and very strong. So just to give you an idea, oh, one yeah. drop of this peppermint yeah. oil is the same as 28 cups of peppermint tea. So a little really, really does go a long way and you don't need much at all. Um, and yes, they're about 50 to 70 times um, stronger than their herbal equivalent, um, which makes them, yeah, something really good because one drop is all you need sometimes, which is great. Um, they are from the immune system of the plant, so the plant's protection mechanism. So because we are carbon-based and pl our plants are carbon-based, it's kind of like our bodies, that we talk the same language, that when we, if we use an essential oil, our bodies recognise what's coming into our body and they know how to use it best. Whereas with normal, excuse the pigeons on my roof, sorry. <laughs> um, with normal medicine, um, which is water-based um, and often a synthetic copy um, of plants, so it's not something that's in its entire form, um, your body doesn't know what to do with it. And often there's side effects um, with these things because your body doesn't know what's, what's coming, into its body, uh, coming into it and it doesn't even actually know also what to do with it. So that's why these essential oils are amazing because your body really does understand what you're using. Um, and as I said, there's, there's no side effects with essential oils. That's another really, really good thing about them. Um, and they're not addictive either. So obviously there are so many different essential oil companies around and there's so many, you can buy essential oils everywhere. They even sell them in the supermarkets now and, and especially things like Amazon. Um, so how do you know what to choose? Um, and the answer is it's very difficult because there's no regulation in the industry whatsoever. Um, so uh, you could find a bottle of lavender, for example, and it could contain any things and it could actually have as little as 2% of the essential oil in that bottle, even if it's labelled 100% pure. So I think that's terrible because obviously it's, in my eyes, it's mis-selling 
because you're saying you, you think you're getting something that's hundred percent pure, but it's actually not. Some of these oils have been shown to contain harmful things like, for example, um, pesticides, herbicides, um, mold and fungus, um, and also other just cheaper fragrance oils, just to make it cheaper for the manufacturer to do, to, to um, make. So obviously that's something you definitely don't want to be using on your skin or on your children. Um, so for me, especially purity is one of the main things for me. I don't want to be using something that has additives in it. Um, so that is, I'll just sort of explain a little bit here. doTERRA have um, a, a tra uh, basically a testing system called Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade or CPTG which basically ensures that their oils are 100% and what they say they are. And it goes through, so each oil goes through so many tests, about up to 15 tests. Um, and I think that the last um, five of those are done actually by a third party tester. So doTERRA are very, very transparent in what they do. They want to kind of show everything and document everything on the, bottle of, on the bottom of each bottle. I don't know whether you can see that. There's a lot number on there. And on there, you can just pop that lot number into the website, um, doTERRA's website, which is source to you.com. Um, and then you can see the exact um, tests that that bottle of essential oil has had and what the results were and when they were done and all these sorts of things. So that it's very transparent because basically doTERRA was sick and tired of people complain, uh, cl claiming that they had 100% pure oils when they really didn't. Um, so from the app, from the outset this company have been all about providing um, oils that people can rely on um, and I love that I think that's really good and I like knowing that they're safe and they're pure um, but they're also really really potent um, which obviously means they're really really effective so there's many many studies out there that show that um, essential oils or plants that are grown in their natural habitat um, are much much like completely different um, chemical profile to a plant that's say farmed or, or, or grown on your windowsill, for example. So what doTERRA do is they source their oils all over the world. They source them the plant, from plants that where they grow naturally. So they're indigenously grown, where for that plant, it's the perfect um, wind speed, um, altitude, soil, sun amount, like everything's perfect um, for that plant. So that plant is basically the best possible version of itself it can be. Um, and here's a map you can see lots and lots of um, different, they source in over 40 different countries. Um, and a lot of those are actually developing countries. So there's a lot of poverty around. And doTERRA work very closely with the growers. Um, obviously these growers know amazing things that are of huge benefit to doTERRA. Like that's the frankincense, for example, has been farmed for generations. So they pass down all the information generation after generation. And that's something we can tap into so that we get the best possible oils that we can. Um, and obviously in return, doTERRA are amazing with their, it's called co-impact sourcing, if you want to look it up. It's also on that source to you website. Because basically they, they really care about these growers. They don't just kind of buy a bit of land and, and farm it themselves. They actually form co-ops with these growers um, and providing futures for them and their family and their communities um, when they had nothing before. So they really are um, very, very aware of what's going on. They're very also very aware of um, their their impact on nature as well they don't over farm over source any oils if there's a problem they will resource somebody somewhere else um and they're also for local communities for example there's um in haiti um where they source vetiver which is a lovely deep oil, a lovely oil for sleep um that that's um when they went to the village where they were going to get the vetiver from there was no running water for that village because there, there's so much poverty and they um so they actually built a pipeline um, for, for this village. Um, so now they have running water instead of having to get a bucket and climb up the mountain and get and fill it, fill it with water and then come back down again. So little things like that, that are quite easy for doTERRA to do, but actually make the world of difference for that community in that, that village. Um, there's lots and lots of stuff, um, uh, about doTERRA charity work. I'm not going to go into it too much because, um, I could talk about it all night pretty much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as well as, well as the co-impact sourcing, um, there's Healing Hands, which is one of their charities, and they work with so many different projects. And one of them at the bottom there, you can see, is um, Days for Girls, 
um, where that's in Africa, where in some of these countries, there's some very funny traditions where the girls are actually seen as dirty when they're on their period. They're seen, they're kind of locked away and they're, that no one's in contact with them because they're, they're seen as they shouldn't be seen when, they, when they're on their cycle, which obviously to us is bizarre. Um, so doTERRA are going in and they're actually re-educating these girls about their bodies and empowering them and they're giving them reusable sanitary equipment, which is amazing because before they were just using bits of their torn up, their mother's torn up sarongs. Um, and yeah, obviously we're very lucky with what we have here in England and other countries, but so it's really nice that we can actually share some of that um, with them. And there's other, there's many other projects. And um, there's a what's something called the Operation Underground Railroad, which is um, to do with catching sex traffickers, um, because there's so many children and teenagers at risk um, from being approached by these sex traffickers. So what DoTerra have done is they've created an oil called the Hope Oil, um, which is available to buy, and 100% of the price of the oil actually goes to um, the, this charity, not just the profits. So it's a great one to buy. It's a lovely smell, actually. It's a rollerball. Um, and under the label of the rollerball, there's a helpline number um, in some, on some of the oils, not the ones we buy, but the ones that they, they made some spe a special batch and they handed them out to all the children and the teenagers that were at risk. Um, for being targeted so that there's a helpline number for them to get help and actually it's led to a lot of arrests which is great so I like that every time you're using the oils not only is it the charity work and the growers and everything but the oils are helping you but they're also they've got this whole backstory of helping all these other people at the same time so it's really lovely and obviously in return we're getting the most potent oils possible um, and the most pure oils so it's win-win for everyone um, I'll just um, so yeah, briefly to talk about um, why they're amazing um, as a complement or alternative to actually what you're using already. I mean, this photo is hilarious, I always think, because actually on the right hand side, the oils can actually replace all of those things on the left hand side, because you have something like peppermint, for example, which is great for a headache and for digestion and for sore muscles. So there you go, you've got four or five different medications you would have normally used. So it's one of those things that actually, once you know a little bit, it's actually incredibly empowering because it's very easy to get to take your um, health into your own hands. And that's what I found being a mum. I now just have my little box of oils. And if there's any kind of ailments in my family or emotional problems or I'm doing cleaning, I'm a bit obsessed with essential oils for cleaning. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I just go to my oils and there's nine times out of 10, there's something there that will help. And I don't need to reach for anything else. And that for me as a mum is really empowering. But obviously, I'm not saying that the NHS is rubbish. We're really lucky to have the NHS um, and our healthcare, and also um, antibiotics. It's one of those things that they actually all they all save lives. But I, I think also with with um, resistant antibiotic resistant bacteria and superbugs and all these sorts of things coming in now, actually people are starting to wake up and look at what alternatives there are out there. Um, and that's a, in my eyes that's a great thing um, and we're obviously lucky to have the other things but I like choosing this first and then and then actually looking at the other solution if, if something needs that you know so yeah it's one I mean it's not new this stuff has been around for thousands and thousands of years um, but it's just a case of actually just um, learning a little bit about actually what you can use and, and how easy it is I'll just briefly this um this is the book I use. It doesn't, uh, there's lots. It doesn't have to be this big. <laughs> there's also an app and there's a, there's a smaller kind of this sort of size book. Um, and this is how easy it is to look up an ailment. Basically, all you would do is you would search in the back um, and in here you have um, lots and lots of different ailments. And underneath the ailment, you have um, all the possible oils you can use because it won't be a case of there's one oil there might be five or six there might even be 20 oils that have worked for that specific condition um, so you can look through the list and see the ones you've got and then that's the one you can you can choose um, it will tell you how to use them um, how often to use them and then after each um, little ailment in here there's um, a little bit of info about the studies that have been shown um, so that peppermint works for a headache or something like that for example because this isn't some voodoo kind of witchcraft <laughs> as some people think this is science so there's lots of scientific studies to back up everything that we're talking about today there's a great website actually which i'll probably talk about a bit later as well but called pubmed and it's a really really good one to have a look on um, because you can find medical journals all about um 
uh, the essential oils and whatever ailment you're looking at. So it's a really nice one. Okay. Right, so another thing I want to mention is when, so for example, if you've got a cold or flu or viral infection and you go to the doctor, they can't do anything for you. They will say, go home, um, have some rest, put your feet up, have, drink lots of fluids and just wait for it to pass. Now, the reason for this is because if you see this, this is a cell and, and around the, um, the outside of the cell, it has a fatty membrane um, and normal medicine, so antibiotics that the doctor would normally give you um, are water-based, so they cannot penetrate this outer membrane. So they sit outside the cell. Not much use when the virus is in the cell. Um, so that's where essential oils come in, and that's why it's so exciting because these essential oils, which obviously are oil-based, can penetrate through the cell wall and actually go into the cell to kill the virus. Um, so it's a, an amazing thing. I mean, this is one of the things that actually attracted me to the oils initially because I thought, oh, I can stop my children getting ill <laughs> or, or get rid of the viruses as soon as they come. This blend, which I'll talk about in a minute, On Guard, is the one that actually is incredible for um, fighting any sort of viruses and viral infections. So, yeah, this is I, for me. This is amazing because actually we're, we're going back to nature, and I love that. We're, we're, we're some people say it's called old medicine. Um, which I think that's quite funny. Um, but actually it is, it, most medication you buy nowadays is actually copied from plants as well. So we're just basically going back to what we've always used, um, which I love, I think that's really nice. And obviously in, in that time, we're also saving money because if you have, um, say for example, you have a headache um, and you need to go and drive down to the pharmacy or whatever to buy a headache tablet, Obviously, it's going to cost you to drive there or to drive to the doctors, um, drive to the pharmacy, and then obviously the cost of the medication, whereas all you might need to do is just use one drop of peppermint and then that's, the headache's gone. Um, so it's very nice just having all the tools here. And obviously, they're natural and they're not full of chemicals. You're, you're, just, you're basically stimulating your body's healing rather than um, actually just filling your body with chemicals. So one of the things that I really like about the oils is just that actually they obviously they're completely natural and safe as well so yeah cost effective they are incredibly cost effective um, and it's one of those things that essential oils some essential oils um, they these are more expensive than other brands you might have seen I mean you can get a lavender on Amazon for $1.99 but obviously hopefully already tonight you'll be understanding why these oils are slightly more expensive um, we've spoken about the purity and the potency, which obviously is something that you would definitely not be getting from a, a 199 lavender. Um, so it is a bit like you get what you pay for, really. Um, but obviously, you can't put a price on your health. That's what, something I've really realised that actually, me, my family's health and, and what kind of things they're exposed to. I've, I've looked at all the different things in my house and gone, "What's in that? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm using that on my skin." Blah blah blah, um, and when I've suddenly got that awareness, I've suddenly realized actually um, health is so, so important. And it's something that you really, if you invest in, yeah, it's one of the best things you can invest in anyway. So yeah, as I said before, obviously there's, there's loads of ways that these oils can save you money. And one of them is obviously that you won't get as sick. You won't get ill as much because you're using them also as a preventative. If you've got a healthy body, you're less likely to get ill. Um, so you won't be having so much time off work because time off work costs you money and time off work to look after your sick children also costs you money. So it's all about looking after your health rather than treating it when something happens. Um, yeah, these, it says also on this slide that essential oils that don't have an expiry date. That's right. Um, they will outlive you, actually. They're so, so potent and they don't expire. So there is actually an expiry date on the bottom, but they have to do that for law. But they won't be expiring. Actually, the citrus oils, though, they say five years. Um, but for me, I mean, yeah, it's been it's been an amazing thing. I will talk a little bit more at the end about my journey with the oils. But, um, yeah, I'm just very happy that I've got them here. Right, so just to briefly talk about how we use essential oils. Um, the first way is aromatically, which basically means inhaling the oil. So if you inhale an oil, um, it goes, um, you breathe it up into your um, nose and up into the limbic part of your brain, which is where you process your emotions and your memories. So um, you know when you smell something and you, that takes you flash back straight away to some memory uh, 10 years ago or something, it's because it's, it's stored in there in the limbic system. So it's a very powerful um, tool to use for emotions. 
So if you are, for example, feeling really anxious, you could have some lavender to calm you down. Or if you're feeling really tired, you could have um, orange and peppermint to wake you up. Um, you can also purify the air. So if you've been cooking fish in the kitchen, put a bit of lemon in the diffuser um, and actually it will purify the air. As well as on guard, the one I spoke about, the protective blend um, before, that's a really, really good one for killing any airborne pathogens. So yeah, and it actually kills MRSA on contact. So that's a great one to have in your diffuser if you ever have to go to hospital um, for anything. So yeah, aromatically, there's also other ways. You can wear um, aromatherapy jewellery, which is you can get diffuser necklaces and diffuser bracelets. And they're quite nice ways of carrying the oils with you all day. And save you having to open a bottle, you just literally drop the oils onto the bracelet and then you can have it there all day. And the next way is topically. Oh, sorry, I'll just quickly explain here. Hang on. So this is a diffuser. This is how we actually also diffuse um, all essential oils. And this, the, the lid comes off and in here you put basically half a, or a cup of water, cold water, and then about four, three or four drops of essential oil. And then that basically diffuses a mist up into the air. Um, and that is how we use them. It's very important actually not to heat the oils. So if you've got an oil burner, I would not use these oils because you'll just be wasting your money. Um, because these oils shouldn't be heated. They will actually lose their medicinal um, benefits um, if you do um, heat them. Um, so topically um, is basically applying to the skin. So if you have, um, sorry, <laughs> if you have um, an insect bite or if you have a uh, yeah, sting or a veruca or a skin tag or even a sore muscle, it's really good to apply directly to the area. The best way, um, if you want a kind of systemic effect, is also to apply to your feet. So you could apply a couple of drops of Balance, for example, which is a grounding blend. It's great. I use it all the time. Um, you could apply that to your feet because your feet have um, very large pores and actually the oils get very quickly into your system. They're in your blood in 20 minutes and in every cell in your body with, sorry, in 20 seconds and then every cell in your body 20 minutes. So that's amazing and that's a very quick way of getting the oils in. And also very good for children. So children, obviously, they don't need very much oil at all. Um, so that you would heavily dilute, which we'll talk about dilution again in a minute. Um, and applying to their feet is great because there's no sensitivity there at all. Um, and yeah, obviously a massage is another way. And also a bath is a lovely way to have the oils. And then the third way, which is very exciting, um, and this is only for doTERRA essential oils. Um, obviously, I can't guarantee the purity of any other oils. So all the advice that I talk about on this uh, class tonight is all about doTERRA essential oils and not any other brand. Um, so internally, very exciting. You can have them in smoothies, in salad dressings. Um, you can add them to pasta dishes. Um, right here, I've got um, a glass of fizzy water with grapefruit oil, which is, um, I love. It's one of my favorite oils. It's the oil of honoring the body. So it's got lovely emotional. All the, all the oils have got emotional properties. Um, and I, I love that side of the oils. So grapefruit is a great one um, for, for weight loss, for hunger cravings. Um, oh, it's... It, it, tastes amazing it's a really good way to liven up like fizzy water yeah. the other way is also to have um them in a uh, the oils in a capsule um which are tiny little um capsules that have um yeah you they're just empty you put a few drops and you drop and you take them and consume and then that can target somewhere like your tummy for example if you had ibs that would be a really good way of getting the oils directly to the problem um, so right, so a little bit about safety before we carry on. Um, obviously, as I said before, the oils are very safe, um, but we do need to obviously be careful. Um, we don't put the oils in our eyes um, or ears or nose. Um, there's no need to, um, and yeah, we just don't. So if you do, by any chance, get an oil in any of those places, or you put some on your skin and it feels a little bit too warm, you can use a carrier oil. I, I use doTERRA fractionated coconut oil which is like a normal coconut oil but the fat is taken out so it's liquid at room temperature so it's great for making rollables but you can use normal cooking coconut oil you can use um, any sort of vegetable olive oil anything like that and just apply it to your eyes do not use water because water will actually drive the oil further in so that's very important but with dilution i would definitely recommend dilution initially um, for everybody i now don't like dilute that much there are some oils that you must always dilute oregano for example which i'm going to talk about later 
very hot oil always need to dilute that one I learned the hard way um, so yeah it's a really really good um, one to use um, uh, the, the fractionated coconut oil that's a great way to dilute the oils um, and obviously with children you always do dilute the oils as well um, and what I've done for my children is make up a rollerball. Instead of having to dilute them every time, I've made a rollerball with a couple of drops of the oil and then filled the rest with coconut oil. So it's quite nice and it's easy to use. They actually put it on their own feet, which is quite nice. Um, now, a couple of other things just to mention is the citrus oils are actually photosensitive. So if you, um, if you do use something like lemon or grapefruit or any of them on your skin, just make sure that you actually don't... Um, it, you don't go into the sun and lie in the sun because obviously you might get some sort of skin sensitivity um but obviously i mean we don't really have that issue um in england do we <laughs> well at the moment we do actually so. the other thing to mention also is that the oils um because of the nature of the oils they they shouldn't be used in a plastic bottle because what they will actually do is they will go into the plastic and they will remove the toxins from the plastic and into your water so you want to make sure you're using a glass bottle or you are using a um, ceramic bottle or a stainless steel bottle. Like lemon, for example. Lemon's a citrus oil I have in water. Um, I make a, a glass bottle of water every morning and I will fill it up throughout the day. Because um, what lemon does for your body, it also does for the, any plastic bottles. So in our cells, we have petrochemicals, which are um, basically chemicals that we come in contact to with every day, whether we like it or not. And these are, our body stores these in our fat cells so that they don't go anywhere near our organs. So our fat cells are full of these petrochemicals. And what lemon does is it goes in and it helps our body safely release them. If we were to release them all in one go, we would die. It would just be a toxic mess. Um, so lemon helps really, really slowly um, to release them. And that's also why lemon is really good for weight loss, because once obviously those cells are not holding on to these toxins, there's no need for them. So they can be easily got rid of. Um, so, yeah, don't use lemon. Don't use oils in a plastic bottle if you can help. it. Right. So just um, br briefly before I start talking about these lovely oils, um, I just want to mention one thing about the company um, and their whole ethos. It's not a case of, oh, yeah, you can just smoke 50 cigarettes a day and drink five bottles of wine and use the oils and you'll be fine. It's not like that at all. It's very recognized that it's a collective effort and there's many, many things. Um, and obviously at the base of this is, is nutrition and eating right, um, because that's incredibly important. And I always thought that I had a very good diet. I thought I had a lot of um, greens. Um, I had a lot of, um, uh, I didn't eat um, much meat. I had organic food and everything. And, but actually in reality, um, what we're getting from our food is, is not actually enough because the soils are so depleted now um, and there's so much over farming. The food we're eating isn't giving us the nutrients we need, even if our diet is near perfect. Um, and a lot of food is flown for miles or stored for months. So it's one of those things that actually, yeah, it's not, it's not ideal. Um, exercise, obviously exercise is one of those things that everyone does differently. Um, I'm not saying you have to go to the gym five times a week. I mean, even if it's just a yoga class with someone, one of your friends, something you love doing and just a bit of movement. Rest and stress management, very important because stress in the body leads to inflammation, which leads to disease. So very, very important to, to actually manage your stress and look after yourself in that sense. And then reducing your toxic load. Now, this is something I've really got into recently. Um, since having children, I've basically been looking at everything that's in our house, anything that's on my skin, anything that I'm cleaning with, anything that the children might come in contact with and actually looked and kind of analyzed what's in that. What am I using? And some of it is unbelievable. Like I hadn't realized the stuff that we blindly buy in the supermarkets, we just didn't realize that actually, um, yeah, there's a lot of toxins in them, but they're just not talked about. So for me, I'm massively reducing my toxic load at home. And that's in the form of mainly of cleaning products and beauty products. And I make my own and I love it. It's so, so good. So for example, um, I make a cleaning spray with lemon oil and white wine vinegar and water. And that's it. That's my cleaning spray. It's very cheap. It smells amazing. And it's completely natural and really effective. Lemon is such a good cleaner. Um, but there's loads of those. I do other classes um, about cleaning with essential oils or beauty products and that sort of thing. So we can get across that bridge another time. Anyway. Um, but just briefly to focus in on the eating part of this, of this um, 
graphic because eating is so important and actually the basis of health does start with diet um, and that's why I want to um, just briefly talk about doTERRA's number one selling product surprisingly actually this is lifelong vitality pack which is their supplements um, and it's the number one selling product over and above all the essential oils um, and it's it's incredible I've heard so many amazing stories about this from from people in our team and from my customers and I think most people that have started it have have never stopped because they really are incredible they're all perfectly balanced and they're they're food grade and bioavailable so our body knows exactly what to do with them and, and that, that often with a lot of supplements that's not the case you just expel them and you're wasting your money um, so with these um, on the left there you've got so you've got alpha CRS the amigas and the vitamins so this first one, the microplex, this one is basically all your um, antioxidants, um, all the green things like kale and um, broccoli and parsley and all those things. You're getting all of those um, antioxidants um, and leafy greens. Um, and as I said, they're all completely available to your body. So your body knows exactly what to do with them and use them. The second one is the Omega. So these are your fish oils or they do actually a vegan version as well, which is seed, black seed, I think. Um, and in that you do also get an essential oil um, blend which so every day if you're taking those every day you'll be getting clove which is an amazing antioxidant it's the highest antioxidant in nature so much much higher than blueberries um, like 300 times higher or something like that um, peppermint frankincense ginger thyme caraway cumin german chamomile and orange so they are all really lovely supportive um, oils to the body and protective too so you'll be getting them every day and then the last one is what we call the alpha CRS, which is basically the, um, in your cells, you have something called mitochondria, which are basically the engine of your cells. And so this really helps to boost those and this helps with energy. This is the energy blend. So a really, really lovely one. I mean, my energy has gone like through the roof since having these. I mean, I've got three young children, but I still somehow managed to keep going. <laughs> anyway, they're really good. And they also offer a money back guarantee. So if you, for some reason, don't, um, find they're amazing then you can send the bottles back empty bottles and they'll give you your money back right so we're on to the oils um, now obviously in this class it's quite difficult because you can't normally we hand the oils out and you can smell how amazing they are and how alive they smell but obviously you can't so you're just going to have to kind of pretend that you can smell them um, and obviously I'm, I'm happy to send samples um, to anyone that wants to actually try um, the oils so um, let's start with lemon. So this is lemon. Um, lemon is such a lovely oil for anything cleaning. It's such a fresh um, scent. It's from Sicily um, and it's yeah, anything cleaning. So it's very cleansing to the body. As I said before, it helps to release toxins, um, but it's also really, really good for cleaning your house. So you can use it with white wine vinegar to clean all your surfaces as a bathroom cleaner great for sticky marks and oil and grease. Um, really good for a sore throat as well. Often if my children have got a sore throat, I'll just put a drop in honey and that's really, really nice to soothe them. Um, and it's great for also cleaning the air. So as I said, if I ever cook fish, it's a really good one to use um, to clean, the, just get the smell out of the kitchen. Um, right next is lovely peppermint. Um, so peppermint is all things cooling. Um, and it's such a such a refreshing smell. This one I've actually made a spray um, for this really hot weather. So one drop of peppermint and the rest is water, and literally just spray it on when you're feeling really hot. And it's amazing how cooling it is for the body. It's lovely. Um, it's also very cooling if you've got a temperature. You can you can put some peppermint up and down the spine. But amazing for headaches is the main thing I use it for. So anytime I'm coming down with a headache, I just put peppermint on my temples and the forehead and the back of my neck and then it's incredible within about 20 minutes I it's gone so it's a very very effective one for that and yeah sugar cravings as well if you're kind of reaching for the biscuits in the afternoon just touch just smell a drop of peppermint and actually your cravings will will go I find for me it's great right so those three I've just spoken about the lemon lavender and peppermint these three these all make up what we call the allergy trio so if you suffer from allergies, dust allergies, pet allergies, um, hay fever, anything like that, these three oils together are amazing. Um, you can either uh, make a rollable, and I, I apply to um, here and the uh, forehead and um, the back of my neck as well. 
Um, and any sort of itchy eyes, I get hay fever, any sort of itchy eyes or runny nose is gone within a few minutes. Um, so I keep that in my bag now at all times. <laughs> But you can also have a drop of each in water. That's a very effective way of doing it. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just amazing for any sort of allergies. Yeah. Um, right, so that's, sorry, that's lavender that I haven't spoken about yet. But so here's lovely lavender. Lavender is the most popular oil um, in the world. And oh, it's so amazing. Um, it's all things calming. So it's amazing for anxiety. Um, it's actually, there's studies that have shown that lavender is as effective um, uh, on reducing cortisol levels as anti-anxiety medication so that's really quite amazing to think um, but for anything I mean if you want to relax after a hard day or if you want some help sleeping um, diffuse lavender put it on the soles of your feet it's really such a lovely oil um, it's also really calming to the skin so if you have any skin issues so itchy skin eczema psoriasis Anything like um, insect bites, amazing for bites and stings as well. Any itching or pain is kind of gone. Um, my daughter got stung by a bee a few months ago and she, she just trod on it. And I just put some lavender on and with five, you know, in five minutes, she's up and running around again. So really amazing, the power of these oils. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Um, yes, another thing you could also do is, um, one thing I did at Christmas, which was quite nice, I got some kilner jars, you know, those jars with the clip top lid, and I filled them with Epsom salts and put some drops of lavender in, and that was my gifts for everyone. And it was really nice, people were really touched, but it was so easy and so cheap. But it's all about making your own stuff, it's really good. Right, so the next one um, is Melaleuca. Now this one um, is you will know this is tea tree this is from australia and this is a lovely oil for anything fungal so things like athlete's foot or thrush or um fungal toenails anything like that it's a really lovely oil knits as well if you if your children um have knits or there's knits going around at school just put a drop on their head and the knits will run a mile which is great to know um also you can add it to uh, with lavender to um your shampoo um for an itchy scalp or, or um, if you've got uh, dandruff, it's very effective. Um, and also I use it um, with lavender for earache. So if my children have earache, I put a drop of lavender and a drop of melaleuca onto um, a cotton ball and I hold it on the outside of the ear um, for about half an hour and within about yeah half an hour that my children are back asleep and out of pain, which is great. Um, yeah, as I said, there's no need to put the oils in the ear. You can just easily hold them outside. So lovely. Now, melaleuca and oregano, the next one I'm going to talk about, work quite closely together. Let me show you here. So this is oregano. Oregano is a very hot oil, so you'll always dilute this one. It smells incredible. Um, it is a great one for cooking as well, but you don't need much. You literally don't even need a drop for one pasta sauce. You just need a tiny bit. Um, and it's actually known as nature's antibiotic. So this is the one that you want to use if you think you're coming down with a virus. Um, and I use it together with melaleuca. Um, there's a great video I can send you actually, which shows how these oils work together to kill a virus. It's quite interesting. Um, what happens is basically around a virus is a layer of bacteria and the melaleuca goes in and kills the bacteria that's protecting the virus. And then the oregano can go in and kill the virus. So. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, so oregano is so nice. It's great for also things like uh, a wart or um, a veruca, skin tags, it's really good for. Um, and as I said, it is very strong. Um, it's six times stronger than penicillin, amazingly. And so, for example, if you're using it in place of an antibiotic, you wouldn't want to use it for more than 10 days because actually after 10 days, it would start stripping the, the good gut bacteria. That's how powerful it is. Um, but I could not be without that. At the beginning, when I first got my oils, I was like, oh, oregano is so boring. But actually, I use it so much and I love it. Right, so we're on to the blends now. This is a lovely blend called Deep Blue. Um, this is kind of like a deep heat, really. They do it also in a, in a cream, which is like this. Um, very, very effective. People are so blown away by, by the effectiveness of this oil. It smells like a, it's kind of germaline. It's a really lovely smell. It's got some lovely oils um, for pain and for inflammation. So wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, German chamomile and osmanthus. So really lovely supportive oils for any sort of pain. So 
you could use it for back pain, you could use it for growing pains, period pains, headaches, any sort of pain. Um, it's a really, really great oil to have in your kit. Right, so the next one, I'll oh, breathe, amazing breathe. This, is, um, this has actually now been changed to air. So it's a new oil called air. I haven't updated my slides, apologize. Um, this, is, this is a respiratory blend, so everything respiratory, um, whether it's cough, cold, um, flu, sinus problems, asthma. Asthma, it's amazing for. There are so many stories. Um, there's actually, I'll share one with you briefly. There's a lady on our team who, um, she had a son who had incredible, like so many allergies when he was born, bless him. And I remember when, she, when he was about three, um, he was having an asthma attack every week and he had inhalers and steroids and he was being hospitalized because of these asthma attacks, which is just horrific. And luckily his mother um, was very empowered. She was looking for natural alternatives and she came across doTERRA and then tried the Breathe blend. And almost instantly when she started trying it, she put, um, she put a couple of drops on his chest, diluted, um, and also on his feet and in the diffuser. And almost instantly when he, she was using it, um, the attack stopped. So he, he had, didn't have to go to hospital. And after three months, they ended up seeing the specialist again. And this guy said he was blown away. He said, these, these lungs are completely different. Whatever you've been doing, you need to keep doing. Um, so she was obviously over the moon and, and he still has an inhaler, but he rarely, rarely uses it. And he just uses the breed, which I think is such a lovely story that actually you can stop a child that's going through all that horrible things and putting all these chemicals in their body and you're just using something completely natural. Um, it's got some really supportive oils for when, for when you're unwell as well. So laurel leaf, eucalyptus as well. So that's great for unblocking. So is peppermint. Melaleuca, which is antibacterial. So that's also helping your lungs to repair. Um, lemon as well. Lemon's really good for phlegm. Um, cardamom and ravintsara. So really, really lovely ones there. Um, and then the next one we've got um, is Zengest. Now this is actually um, been, yeah, so this is um, what we call the digestive blend. So it's a really lovely oil to use for any sort of digestive support. Oh, it smells, it's got lovely, lovely um, oils like, for example, um, aniseed, caraway, um, fennel, ginger. So really supportive things for your digestive system. And it's how it's basically works at bringing your um, digestive system back into a balance. So if you have anything, whether it's constipation or diarrhea or whether it's um, acid or indigestion or whatever, you, whatever problems you've got, it really works at bringing your um, body back into balance. And it's an incredibly effective oil. It works very, very quickly. I love it. Right. Lovely on guard. This is one of my favorite oils. Um, this one here. Um, is what we call the protective blend. Oh, it's got clove in it and wild orange, um, and it's got thyme and rosemary, what else? Cinnamon bark and eucalyptus. So it's a really lovely winter oil as well. It smells like Christmas. Um, this is really, really good to protect your family from getting ill. So you could have it in the diffuser in the winter, you could roll it on the bottoms of your feet for your children. Um, when they, you think they're bringing something home, that's what I do. Um, have the rollerball on hand at all times. Um, but it's also a great one for, for cleaning and disinfecting. So you could make um, a cleaning spray. So maybe 10 drops of the On Guard and then some white wine vinegar and some water and that's your cleaning spray. And it's great for disinfecting. I, for example, had, um, I made my own spray with one drop of this and the rest was water. And we went to um, this place where there were no, it was a festival, but there were no, um, wash the hand washing facilities after you went to the loo um, and so I all I did is my children came out and I would literally spray their hands with this little spray bottle of one drop of on guard and the rest is water and that's it their hands were clean so I love that and I think for me that's it's a very very um, important oil in my life and for my children it's great also for um, sore throats you can gargle it it's quite spicy because of the clove but it's very protective um, and also you can use it um, for anything like toothache or anything like that, any sort of oral pain. It's very good. And it's obviously good for the immune system. It supports you um, all the time. And the last one, save the best till last, is frankincense. So um, frankincense is known as the king of oils. Um, and frankincense is, literally does everything. So you 
they say when in doubt use frankincense um, and it's such a lovely oil um, for so many things um, for example skin um, it's really really lovely to use on your um, like things like stretch marks or age spots um, or anything like that um, scars as well it's very effective basically what it does is it goes into the cells um, and it reminds your cells how to be perfect so it's a really really good way um, to kind of have some regeneration in your cells um, so anti-age as well it's really good um, you could also use it with um, a lavender for a headache or for a migraine you can put a, cup, a drop on your thumb and hold it on the roof of your mouth um, and it's also a great one for brain health it's got a tiny molecule in it um, which crosses the blood brain barrier um, so it's very effective to do um, a lot of yeah a lot of things like Parkinson's um, Alzheimer's dementia brain fog all of those things it's very supportive um, and it's also it's quite a spiritual oil it's used in, in meditation and yoga and mindfulness quite a lot so it's, it's a lovely one and it also does magnify the um, the effects of the other oils so if you use deep blue the pain blend for example on your bad wrist you can then layer a drop of frankincense over the top and it will increase the um, effectiveness of the other oil by up to 10 times so it's a great one to have in, um, in your kit right so that takes us to the end of the 10 oils um, obviously there are a lot more other oils but these are the 10 we, we focus on just because they're the ones that you kind of would need every day and actually they cover all the main body systems so you should have an oil here for most things that you need basically right so um before we do questions i'll just briefly explain if there's any of you who are looking to get um the, some oils i'll explain how it works with doTERRA um basically there's three ways to buy the oils the first way um is retail um which to be honest i don't actually recommend because you actually end up paying more you pay 25 percent more and you don't get any support with the oils, unfortunately. So it's not the best way to get started. Um, the second way um, is by becoming a wholesale member, which basically means it's £24, and then you get a 25% off everything you buy. So it's a really amazing deal. But you also get lots and lots of support. You get a wellness consultation, which is basically where you spend an hour with me, and I go through all your oils, um, and I go through um, all the... Um, the ailments you're looking to treat with the oils and we look at your online account and answer any questions and also um, I will add you to Facebook groups which are um, very supportive places where you can go and ask questions obviously I'm here if you've got any questions um, but there's also places online where you can yeah, the, the, the Facebook groups are very very good if you want to kind of get some resources for things and there's lots of essential oil experts on there helping you um, and also there's continued education classes which are monthly classes about these using the oils in different ways so essential oils for gardening for example or essential oils for cooking or whatever you're interested in there's there's lots of different ones they're quite fun um, so that's a, such a good benefit because the last thing you want obviously is to have oils and not be able to not know how to use them really um, and then the third way which is the most popular way the way most people buy the oils is as part of a kit um, and there are various different kits the two I'll speak about um, initially are actually the 10 core oils um, that we spoke about tonight um, and these there's just two different sizes this here for example is the family essentials kit um, and the great thing about the kits is not only are the oils discounted as part of a kit but you also get the membership for free so you don't pay the 24 pounds that's already included in the kit um, so this is the family essentials kit and this comes with a free smart and sassy which is actually the metabolic blend um, it's a great blend for weight loss um, for hunger cravings for healthy digestion um, and then there's the home essentials this is one of the most popular kits um, this is the kit I started with and you get the diffuser in there which is amazing and you get the 15 ml bottles so these are the larger bottles so just to give you an idea this is a 5 ml and this is a 15 ml so there's quite there's quite a difference there um, you obviously get three times the amount of oil in the 15 ml and this month very excitingly you get a free copaiba which is somewhere here that I had Earlier. here we go copaiba is a brand new oil it's not actually available in the uk yet um, but it's free this month and it will be released officially next month um, and this is basically the equivalent of um doTERRA's equivalent of cbd oil um, and it works kind of in the same way as cbd new cannabis oil um, obviously without it's not illegal and there's no um 
hallucinogenic properties to it at all either. But the beta caryophylline, which is the beneficial plant uh, part of the cannabis oil, um, is actually present in uh, 10 times more than it is in the CBD oil in this one. So it's a very good oil to use for pain, inflammation, skin care as well. It really helps with glowing skin. It's lovely. Um, and it's a great one to have. I'm so It smells incredible as well. It smells kind of like linseed oil. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so that's free this month just with this kit. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can add it to water. It basically supports every system of your body. So cardiovascular, immune, digestive, nervous, and respiratory system. So that's incredible. It's a bit like frankincense in the sense that it treats the whole everything. If in doubt, use copaiba. Right, so... Um, Oh, here we go. So this just gives you a bit of an idea. These are the different options of the kits that are available. There's some other kits I haven't spoken about. The family wellness kit is great. Also has the in supplements that I've spoken about. And there's some other products. I haven't got into detail about them, but there are many, many products that doTERRA offer, um, which are basically about cleaning up your lifestyle. So things like non-toxic cleaners and, and washing liquids and, and natural skin care. And there's so many different things and shampoo and conditioner and all these products that don't have any harmful things in them. Um, so the natural solutions kit is a really, really good choice. A lot of people start with that, which really gives you a good start because a lot of people, once they start learning about the oils, they actually decide to kind of upgrade their life and their health care. Um, and actually look at a lot of, I mean, kind of what I did in my house. Um, you start looking at what's in that and what's in that. And so that's a great kit to start with. That's a really good way of starting. Um, but there's other other kits anyway. So that's, those are the details there. Um, and then basically what, if you, if you're interested in getting one of these, all you need to do is I'll send you an email after the class. Um, and you just need to let me know which kit you'd like. And then I, there's a few details. I'll send you the info on my email. Um, a few details about what info I need from you but I, I place your first order for you and you should receive your oils in kind of three to four days it's very quick normally um, and then after um, after that you can place your own orders we'll have your wellness consultation I'll show you your online account and then you can place any further orders if you wish from yourself so it's quite nice you don't have to go through me every time Right, so just to briefly um, explain that we, this is, um, if you're interested in learning a little bit about any other essential oils in any other um, capacity, so essential oils for cooking or any other classes we run, just let us know. You can let us know here and then we can um, tell you which ones are coming up so that you're constantly informed. Um, another thing is you might have other people that you're in, if you're local to me, um, a lot of people um, choose the option of hosting a class. And that's a very popular thing. When you're in a class and you're kind of listening to all these amazing facts about these oils and how they can help, that you kind of think, oh, my my mum could do with that or, or my dad would love this or my neighbour would love to know about all this. Then there's an option of hosting a class, which basically means that you just get um, about five or more people together and then I will come to your house and I will do this, basically this class, very informal, very very casual, very fun. Um, and I'll bring yummy food um, with the oils in. And um, it's just a really fun evening and your friends can learn um, a little bit about how they can use these oils as well. Um, and I will also give you a free gift as a thank you for being a host. So that's quite fun. Um, and then the other thing I just want to briefly mention before we go to questions um, is that um, Obviously, doTERRA is a customer-based company. 85% um, of people within doTERRA are actually just customers, people who love the oils. But there is also a business side, an amazing business side. So that 15% um, is made up of what we call builders and sharers. Um, and these are people that actually have decided to share the oils um, and make um, an income from it. And in some cases, it can be a very, very good income. So I would love to share um, a little bit about the business with you um, after the class, after we've had the question and answer. So feel free to stay on for that because there's a lot that there's a lot to know about anyway. Right, that's it then. So that's the end of the class. Thank you so much all for coming along. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and we will obviously send you an email um, after the class um, with all the details of what I've spoken about and if you are interested in having any oils in your life um, it's one of the best decisions I ever made <laughs> um, so yeah I will send you the details and um, just if you've got any questions let me know 
But now let's do, I'm going to stop the recording and we can do some questions.